So I was supposed to be in Dallas, Texas right now, and if you can tell, maybe you can't, you don't know that this is my home, but this is my home. So I am not in Dallas, Texas, even though I was meant to be. So what you're about to see is the series of events in which two ADHDers were planning to travel to an ADHD conference to learn a lot of cool new things, meet a bunch of new creators, but it all went horribly wrong. <laughs> so it enjoy the chaos that ensues good morning it's travel day so i woke up the first thing i did was do my hair obviously and then i woke up to cody and matt inside of my home we watched a brave day video together i made matt put my shoes on so that i could assert some dominance said goodbye to matt he was very very sad obviously we're leaving and then uh, we headed out on the road we then drove an hour and a half to the airport we played with our stim mags the entire way which cody actually designed and we couldn't even find a spot at the airport it's not even fucking working. <laughs> I could have kept a cool fucking token. I paid five bucks to circle <laughs> in a parking garage. What a fun experience Drive though. Drive down the wrong way because I missed the sign. <laughs> How are you liking your trip to Canada? <laughs> it was good until now. <laughs> we legitimately looked for parking for about 30 to 45 minutes. The roads were so confusing. Look at this. Where do we go? <laughs> <laughs> And when we finally found parking, we were both starving, a little agitated, but excited to be there. So we hopped on the transit to get to the airport. I thankfully got a seat because I am an injured, delicate little flower. Cody brought all of our stuff and then disaster struck. So Cody's an American and he had driven up to my place in Canada and they had told him that he was allowed to travel with just his enhanced license. But what he didn't know is you cannot travel by air with an enhanced license. And so we get there and we immediately have to turn around. Back on transit we go! Look of shame. How does it feel to have more time in Vancouver? I'm excited about that. I am upset with the border service and the U.S. licensing office. Ah, fair, fair. I'm passing all responsibility to them. <laughs> so what do you do to cope with changing plans? You go get a large lunch and have drinks together, which is what we did, and it was delicious and amazing and a lot of fun. Everything is made up of atoms. Atoms are made up of quarks, <laughs> and quarks are made up of quantum particles. <laughs> And so that was that. Cody and Matt decided to get an Airbnb downtown so that I could heal and rest on my own. Cody had some, uh, like, deep thoughts outside. <laughs> So the truth is, there was a different ending planned for this video. You're probably asking yourself, what now, Haley? You know, obviously, I was meant to be going on a really fun and exciting trip, meeting a bunch of new people, um, exploring a new state that I've never been to before, but that didn't happen. My expectations were set here, and not only did I not meet those expectations, but I was expected to go right back to my regular routine and just kind of figure shit out. And if I'm being honest, there was a different end planned. Even after this trip fell through, I sat down and I recorded a different ending to this video where I was saying, I'm gonna make my own Texas fun. I want to replace the Texas fun with my version of Texas fun. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and the reality is, is that I'm at home spending a lot of time crying and struggling and being unable to keep my place clean. And the facade you see behind me is not what the rest of my place looks like. This is just for this video. And so if there's anything you can take away from this video, it's one, routines are fucking hard. Two, expectations are very hard to be met and you're not expected to always have the perfect response to everything. Sometimes the best tool for getting over something you're struggling with is to just ride out how shitty it is which is what ended up happening with this situation for me didn't get to go on a super fun trip that i was really excited for instead had to stay home with a very hurt leg that is in a lot of pain and so i just went okay it's just gonna be a shitty couple of days and that that's okay uh so anyways hopefully more exciting and fun content coming soon and if nobody's told you today yet i am very proud of you and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you with happier content very soon and hopefully a better leg because oh my god it hurts so bad love you bye